Hi, I'm Ubi, and today we're going to take a quick and dirty look on how to install ControlNet for use in Automatic 11.11's web UI for Stable Diffusion. Now, ControlNet is a neural network interface structure that allows for better control of your diffusion models by adding additional constraints. At least that's what it says according to the website. Simple terms, it helps you generate better and more controlled outputs with Stable Diffusion. Now, in this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of installing ControlNet, including the necessary libraries and extensions, and downloading the required models. So, let's begin. Before we can install the extension, we first need to make sure that the OpenCV library is installed. Now, you'll do this from a command prompt. If you're on a Mac or Linux, hopefully you already know how to open the command prompt. If not, Google is going to be your friend here. Uh, since we are on Windows here, though, I can show you if you need to get to a command prompt quickly. You can open up the folder that you have Automatic 11.11 installed in. You can right-click anywhere in the folder, select Open in Terminal, and that will bring you to a command prompt. From there, we will issue the command pip install openCVPython. And after a brief download, depending on how quickly your internet speed is, it should install OpenCV, and we will be ready to move on to the next step. So now that we know we have the OpenCV library installed, it's time to install the ControlNet extension into Automatic 11.11, and here's how we do it. First, we want to make sure you have your web UI interface open, and you want to go to the Extensions tab, which you'll find across the top here at the end. Inside of here, you'll go to the tab that says Install from URL. And inside the URL for Extensions Git Repository, you will place the URL, obviously, for the Git Repository. Now, don't worry about typing that out. It will be down in the comment section where you can copy and paste it. That way, if you're like me, you won't accidentally misspell something and have everything not work correctly. Once you've got that in place, just click the Install button. And after a few moments, it will download the extension and tell you it's installed into your folder. And it will tell you to use Installed tab to reset. So the next thing you'll do is you go over to Installed here. Uh, it's I like to be sure to check for updates. Make sure that uh, the extension, the control net is checked there. Hit Apply and Restart UI, and that will activate the control net extension. You'll know that's done correctly if you look down here either on text image or image to image. You have a new section down here that says control net. You'll be able to open it up. You'll see all the options for it. Congratulations, you have the control net extension installed. We only have one more step before we can use it, and that's to download the pre-trained models. Now that we have the control net extension installed, we will need to download the control net models. The original models are available on huggingface.co, but they're very large. Each model is around six gigs, roughly, for a total of somewhere in the neighborhood of about 45 gigs. You are definitely welcome to download these models, and these models will work just fine. However, as of the time of the making of this video, a wonderful user named The Ally has created pre-trained models that are less than one gigabyte each. Now, these can be found on civitai.com, and uh, you can find them under the user The Ally. You can search for that. You can search for ControlNet, or I will leave a link in description for how to get to either of these sets of models. Now, either way, you will need to download um, at least one of the models to use. I strongly suggest actually having all eight of the models, uh, and you can find them uh, if you're doing the Hugging Face route. You can just click on the Download File button here to download each one of the individuals. You have your Candy, Depth, HED, MLSD, Normal, Open Pose, Scribble, and Seg. Or if you're on the uh, Civit AI, you can find uh, scroll down. Uh, from on the page where you can find the models, and you will find each one of those uh, here, and you can go through each individual model, and there is a download button over there for each one of those, and you'll simply click on it to download it. Once you have downloaded all of the models, you will need to put them in the Stable Diffusion folder under Extensions, under SD Web UI Control Net, and there is a folder in here called Models. 
and they will need to be placed right here. And as we see here, I've actually copied in uh, the models that I already have downloaded. I actually have the, the full models, uh, the six gig versions, and then the smaller, less than one gig versions, uh, both of the um, ones that the Alley made. And there, there are two versions. There are the pre-trained models, and then there is a pre-trained difference models. We have all of those there. They're not required. You are, however, required to have at least one model. And obviously, what you can do to make sure that works is you can go back in to your Stable Diffusion, back down into your Control Net, click on the Refresh button here, and you should see all of the models now listed. Now, each model needs to be paired with the appropriate preprocessor. For example, if you're going to use Canny, you need to use either the originally trained Canny model or one of the pre-trained Canny models down here. Same with depth and depth lures. HED, uh, depth and depth lures both use the depth models. Uh, HED uses the HED model, obviously. MLSD uh, here uses the MLSD model here. Normal map uses normal uh, map, normal models here. Open pose and uh, uses open pose as well. Uh, scribble. And fake scribble both use the scribble model. Segmentation uses the seg model. I honestly don't know what uh, uh, Pity Net uses, so if you know that, uh, feel free to leave that down in the comments. But these are obviously you need to pair the appropriate preprocessor with the model. Uh, however, use of the particular uh, use of Control Net is not uh, in the scope of this particular video. This is about installing it, and if you've reached this point, you have successfully installed the control net uh, for automatic 1111. Now, there may be one issue you might run into, and that's what we'll take a look at next. Now, some people have had issues where they were running an older version of Gradio when uh, installing this extension and were getting Gradio errors when they're trying to generate. I don't have any sort of um, screenshots to show you what that looks like, but if you are trying to generate images with the control net and are getting Gradio errors, you can fix that by upgrading the version of Gradio that you have to 3.16.2. Now, in order to do that, we will do that from the command line. So we will bring up our Stable Diffusion folder. Uh, if, again, if you're on Windows, if you're on Mac or on Linux, just go ahead and bring up your command line like you normally would. Uh, right click inside of here if you're on Windows and go to Open in Terminal which will give you your terminal screen here. And the command to install this specific version of Gradio is pip install radio equals equals 3.16.2. And if you don't already have that installed, it will go ahead and run the downloads and install that for you. Should have everything working and fix any issues you may have with Gradio. So you basically give the command, as you see here, it does a bunch of uh, downloads for Gradio and gets everything all set up and installed. Once it is done, you should be ready to go. And there we have it. Once we get to this part here, it is installed and you should just be able to uh, restart your stable diffusion and theoretically that should work. If it doesn't, I strongly suggest reaching out um, wherever it is that you get your information um, and seeing if somebody can give you some assistance with that. But that is how you install ControlNet for Automatic 11.11. Hopefully you found this video helpful as far as installing ControlNet for Automatic 11.11 for Stable Diffusion. If you have any uh, questions or any additional videos you'd like to see made, just drop them down in the comments and have yourself a great day.